Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see a one more concept in discrete mathematics that is a set theory. So in today's session, we'll see the complete introduction about the set theory. That means what is a set and how the set can be represented. So a set is defined as collection of elements collection of elements and sometimes we may also call it as objects collection of objects and unique elements a collection of unique elements that means there should not be duplications there should not be duplications and enclosed in curly braces so all the elements should be enclosed in a curly braces shares a common property shares a common property that, that means a collection of alphabets natural numbers or whole numbers or real numbers okay or states of a country so like that all the elements should share the some common property so for example here you can write the same example okay vowels in alphabets vowels in alphabets so that can be written in a curly braces collection of elements so we can write a e i o u unique elements there is no repetition here enclosed in curly braces we have enclosed in a curly braces shares the common property so all these are the vowels in a alphabet okay and <clears throat> one more thing these cannot be in a same order it can be in a, any order for example right one more example i'll give one more one more example okay so let us take uh, odd numbers between 1 to 10 right so that can be 1 3 5 7 and 9 we know these are all the odd numbers which are in between 1 to 10 and this may not be in the same order so this is also correct and 3, 9, 5, 1, 7. So this is also correct. So that, that implies it doesn't mean that all the elements should be in either ascending order or the descending order. So the order doesn't matter. Okay, that order doesn't matter, right? So in any order, but these are the collection of elements or objects which are enclosed in the curly braces, right? So mainly, there are two types of uh, sets one is a finite set and infinite set finite and infinite finite set so the name itself indicates if the set is having a finite number of elements that means if we are able to uh, find out the number of elements in a set then it is called as a finite set okay so finite number of elements finite number of elements so, <clears throat> right example the previous example we can take so vowels vowels so we can find the vowels a e i o u so what's the length of this set five elements the length of the set is five elements right similarly there is a one more type which is infinite set infinite set so what the name itself indicates infinite set means the number of elements we can't count okay uncountable number of elements if the set contains uncountable number of elements then we can go with the then that is called as an infinite set okay so infinite number of elements 
infinite number of millimeters. That means we can't count them, right? So, example. natural numbers so just we are giving some natural numbers so obviously that can be one two three four five and so on there is no limitation here there is no limitation here right so this is nothing but an infinite set so we can't count the number of elements in this particular set because there will be a lot of numbers right so such type of set we call it as an infinite set so, hope you understood the definition of a set, what is a set and uh, what uh, the finite set and the infinite set. So, it doesn't get the duplicates. Okay, it doesn't have the duplicates. Yes. Now, how can we represent a set? So, already we have seen one representation, right? So, we, once again, we'll see how many ways we can represent a set. representation of set so two ways we can represent any set the first one is roster representation roster form so roster form means whatever the thing we have seen so far that comes under the roster form that means simply comma separated elements comma separated elements enclosed in curly braces and right here itself without any confusion so enclosed in a curly braces this is called as an roster form right so so far we have seen the same thing right so example example so take uh, even numbers between 1 to 10 it can be represented as 2 4 6 8 and 10 <coughs> so this is an example for roster form so comma separated elements or objects all these are called as an objects and comma separated objects or uh, elements which are enclosed in a curly braces and the second one is set builder form set builder form so here we are supposed to specify the common property in a curly brace so specify common property in curly braces right example example let us write the same thing, vowels in alphabet, how we can write means x where x is vowel in alphabet. So we have to specify the property in a curly brace. So instead of directly giving the answer, we are just giving the property. Okay, we are specifying the property in between the curly braces so in this format we call it as a roster form and if it is in this format we will be calling it as a set builder form okay so same example you can write here x or x is even okay so one less than x less than 10 okay so or, or else you can write the property x is even between 1 to 10 so this you can write it no problem so specifying the property is called as a set builder form now there are two notations here very important notations <coughs> one is uh, i'll give you so hope you understood this uh, set builder form and the roster form and uh, let me tell you about the two different uh, notations very important symbols okay so that is a 
this one and this one so this implies belongs to belongs to and this implies not belongs to these are the two important things we will be using in our set concept for example let us take some set elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 so all these are called as elements or objects we know that so if you consider any element for example 1 okay if 1 is a part of this set that means 1 is available in the set we will be represented as 1 belongs to for example yes yes 1 belongs to yes so that means 1 is available in set yes for example 10 which is not available in this set so that can be represented as 10 doesn't belongs to s yes. 10 is not belongs to set yes right so in this way in order to check whether the element is available in the set or not so we are going to use these two symbols belongs to and not belongs to right so hope you understood this one and so i will stop here in this session we have seen the complete introduction hope you got an idea uh, regarding what exactly the set means and what how the set can be represented and what is a finite set and what is an infinite set and the, the symbols belongs to and uh, doesn't belongs to or not belongs to right so i'll stop here and in the next session uh, we'll go with the few notations and uh, different types of sets notations and types of sets so as of now let's wind up and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much